A violent attack on a taxi driver has prompted renewed debate on whether compulsory upfront fares should be introduced. The Taxi Council says more drivers are reporting assaults to police and drivers will now consider whether more needs to be done. After less than a year of driving taxis across Adelaide, Hajinda Singh says he has had enough. It's not safe to drive a taxi in the night time, yeah. He says he was attacked by a passenger in the city early yesterday morning who refused to pay the cab fare up front. Mr Singh activated the duress alarm when the man became aggressive and drove to a taxi rank nearby to get help. He hit his head on my face like a headbutt. Police were quickly on scene and arrested the offender while Mr Singh needed hospital treatment for his injuries. He says he'll now start looking for another job and his employer says he's not alone. Yes, they're leaving the industry because uh, what happened to him happened to many people and some of them do not even report it. But the Taxi Council says more drivers are choosing to report the crimes. One reason is because offenders now face an aggravated charge resulting in tougher penalties and the other is better relations with police. Well, uh, the last couple of years uh, there's been a significant increase in um, activity by the police and uh, quicker with their responses so uh, the drivers are much more confident in uh, reporting any incidents. The council says for the past few years drivers have had the option of asking for upfront fares to avoid confrontations. Something we didn't really want to do but uh, if we get more incidents like this this is the only alternative we could take. The council expects some drivers will ask for upfront fares to be made compulsory and the issue will be discussed in coming weeks. Emma Rebellato, ABC News, Adelaide.